Hey everyone, what do you think about my new sunglasses? They look a little bit chunky on the sides and that's because there's something special about these. Wow, it's so sunny out here. Let me put them back on. So to start with, yes, they do actually work as proper sunglasses. And if you haven't guessed already, they have a camera built into the middle. Now they say this is a five megapixel camera, but that's like completely untrue. It's probably more like 0.5 megapixels. When you export the video file, it's 640 by 480 resolution, so very low resolution, but the video is actually okay. I guess one of my biggest complaints wouldn't be the video quality, but rather the fact that it's quite zoomed in. Now, I am recording right now, which means I can cut between the video here and the video on my glasses. And you'll probably be able to, I don't know, maybe estimate the zoom. If I hold my hand out like in front like this, in front of the glasses, then you'll probably be able to see like, oh, that's actually not that far, but on the glasses, it looks very close. Now, these glasses were super cheap. They were like 400 pesos, which I think is eight US dollars or six pound fifty like great British pounds so very 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 cheap and of course you have to set your expectations when something's as cheap as these are you have to know that it's not going to be like an amazing HD spy camera whatever when would you use them I'm not really sure because the video quality really isn't that great it gets the job done but yeah I'm not exactly sure what you'd use it for um, the audio is actually quite okay, like if I cut in and out you'll be able to hear the audio difference between the built-in microphone on the Canon G7X which I'm recording this video with and the glasses themselves. Now one problem is that when you use these outside it's really 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 hard to see the um, recording light whether it's actually recording or not because it has a blinking light and you can't easily see that in like sunlight but I guess it gets the job done. So now I'm facing towards the sun done. and in fact I'll try to look up at the sun now I did close my eyes because these sunglasses don't offer enough protection to be able to look directly at the sun. But, but I don't know, I mean they actually do okay. They're about as good or bad as any other like cheap knockoff sunglasses that you can buy. So anyway, that's enough of a demo. Let's take these to my table and take a closer look at how they work. Now we're back at my desk, we can take a closer look. The case it comes in is just about big enough to hold the sunglasses. They kind of get squashed in. Um, I guess it's okay, but I wonder if they're gonna get damaged over time. Inside you get the sunglasses, of course. You get an instruction booklet and a little cleaner for the lenses. And here they are. You can see they are a little bit chunky. Although honestly, when you put them on your head, if you wear something like a cap, or if you're a girl and you have long hair, or even a guy with long hair, um, it really isn't that noticeable. Considering like when you put them on a table, yeah, they're chunky and something doesn't seem right. But when you wear them, they're really not as noticeable as you'd think. And here's the actual lens you can see in there. And although the quality is just not amazing, I think they're actually good enough. My biggest complaint about this is that it's so zoomed in. When something is like over here, it looks like it's right in front of it like this, which means it's very hard to know what you're actually shooting or to get the shot that you want. So for me, I think these could actually be really good if they just fix that zoom issue. Like they shouldn't be so far zoomed in. Now the right arm doesn't have any controls, but I suspect there might be a battery in there. And on the left here, this is where all the controls are. So you can see your micro SD goes in here it has a mini USB charge port and then up here you've got your power button and your button for starting and stopping recording so pretty simple to use you just hold down the power button and you can see this little LED comes on here and it's flashing and now it's turned off why is it turned off I think the battery might be dead because the LED is turned off but let's talk about charging for a minute Underneath you find the port where you plug in your mini USB cable to charge this. Now the thing is, it starts drawing power and starts charging the battery and it never stops. It will keep drawing power forever, getting hotter and hotter and hotter. And I guess eventually the battery could explode. I don't know how much current is actually drawing, but it does get hotter and hotter and hotter. And I've left it on there even for like 24, maybe longer hours. And it just kept getting hotter and hotter. So it never stops charging. It doesn't have an overcharge protection. So you have to be very careful with that. Anyway, overall, I'm pretty happy with these. Like the only complaint, like I keep saying, is that they're very zoomed in. Otherwise, I think they're actually good enough. Um, and the battery life's not too bad. I get around 30 minutes, give or take a little bit. You can run them off a power bank. So you could run them indefinitely if you had a big enough power bank. But anyway, let's try and open this up and actually have a look inside. Okay, so as expected, on this side where there's no controls, 
we do have a battery here. Let's see if it's got any markings on the other side. There you go, it says 450 milliamp hour, 3.7 volts. Let's push that back in place. And it's got a little board here, but it doesn't look like there's anything on the board. It's just a way of connecting the two wires from this side to the battery here. And there we go. Really not too much to see here. You can see this is where the camera is connected. And this looks very similar to the connector that we saw for the camera in this one. Now this is a 720p camera, much higher resolution than this one here. I doubt you could swap them out though, to be honest. Now that flat flex is obviously going through here, through the frame, and then to the camera lens just here. And here's our microphone here. You can see it's just a tiny little microphone, but there is a cutout for that. And the audio wasn't actually too bad. It doesn't do very well in wind, um, but otherwise I think the audio is okay. I mean, honestly, for the price, these aren't that bad. You have to know that it's only a 640 by 480 resolution image, so it's not fantastic, and it is kind of zoomed in, but otherwise they're really not that bad. Okay, so on the other side, this is where we see the big chips. I knew there had to be something on this side because that isn't going to be enough to do everything we need. So I'll zoom in so you can see what chips are on this. Hopefully you'll be able to read it. Okay, so we've got a blob here which is covered. That's probably the main processor chip which we won't be able to see what it is since it's being covered in gunk. We've also got a Samsung chip here. Now that to me looks like a memory chip, but I guess we won't know unless I look it up, but that does look like a memory chip. Now some of these are sold with built-in memory, but this one is not meant to have built-in memory. And if I try and record any kind of video without an SD card in it doesn't work so yeah that's interesting I'm looking forward to looking that part up and seeing what's going on there anyway there you go that's the five megapixels <laughs> which is not really true but that's the uh, that's the HD spy camera five megapixel whatever they call it um, sunglasses camera it's not that bad it's really really cheap um, just set your expectations so you don't get disappointed but it's really not that bad so if you enjoyed this video please give me a thumbs up and subscribe thanks for watching